What's up guys? You're now watching Vix TV And me, I am your one and only friendly companion, Mr. Giancarlo D. Ninete And for today's vlog, we're going to make an activity in our AutoCAD And that activity is right here in your screens So but first, before we start Let's get some intro. I'm gonna show you crash, I ain't gonna fucking cash. Maybe I should take a bath, come on, fucking brain a half. I'm not only just a bit tired of this fucking shit. Nothing that I write can make me feel good. Victim of the great machine, in love with everything I see. Neon lights surrounding me, I indulge in luxury. Everything I do is wrong, except for when I hit the phone. So guys, now we're going to do our activity in AutoCAD. Then first we're going to open our AutoCAD. Let's just wait for it to launch. Yes, you can see. I have done the same activity. Here in my recent documents. So let's just recreate it. So, guys, this is the finished product. So what are we going first is we're going to type the command line to make a line type L type L and enter so we all know that we are given the coordinates to make this so first our coordinate is 1 comma 1 so that's our coordinate. So as you can see, I'm in auto mode. So it's easy to have a precise line, straight line, a linear line. Yes, a precise. But we can make some slant or anything else with an auto mode. This is just from a straight line. So next coordinate is. 4.1 comma 1 so we all know that our base is 1 so we're just going to subtract 4.1 to 1 so our coordinates now is 3.1 so we are on auto mode so let's just enter it like enter and now we have our base then click the escape button then type line again for our third coordinate then our third coordinate is 4.5 comma 2.2 then click enter and that's our third coordinate so we're going to off our auto mode then as you can see we can now point our line in any direction without an auto mode so next is we can next we can do is what we will do is just connect to the end point of our base okay type enter so now we have the base then type the line command again click to the end point then now activate again the auto mode for a precise straight line then put the length or the coordinates of the line 2.3 so enter and we have now our line of 2.3 
So now next line we have a slant line so we're going to turn off our auto mode. So now our next is have an angel on it. So what we will do if the line have an angle we will we have given the angle of 150 degrees so we're not going to literally put a 150 degrees because we all know that 150 degrees is right here and we don't and it is not the like this is not the figure that we're giving to so we're we're not just going to put 150 degrees on there so what we're going to do is just put first the length of the line 1.4 tab then we're going to we all know that this one horizontal line is 180 degrees and we have 150 degrees so we're going to subtract them so 180 degrees minus 150 is equal to 30 so we're going to type 30 and enter so now we have our first length line so next, activate again the auto mode, then type again the length of the line which is 2.1, now we have the 2.1, then again another slant of the auto mode, then we're going to put the length of the line which is 1.6, tab, then we were given again a 150 degrees but we all know that 150 degrees is right here and now we're going to subtract 150 degrees by 30 degrees so we can get 120 degrees so we're going to put 120 degrees so that's our coordinates and the line so under the straight line activate the auto mode then put 1.3 because it is the length of the line type enter then as you can see our next figure is downward so we're going to drag the line down and put the coordinates 1.1 okay the next is a slant a 45 degree then of the auto mode 45 degree it is not literally a 45 degree that we're going to put again so first we're going to put the length of the line which is 2.2 tab then we're going to put we're going to sub how can we get a 45 degrees so this is a 90 degrees and this is a 45 degrees so we're go going to add them so 45 plus 90 is equals to 135 degrees so 135 degrees input it enter so as you can see it is not it is above the line and it is a nice it is a nice mark that it shows that our are doing is on a specific figure next is another straight line turn on the auto mode type 1.0 because it is the length of the line enter and another slant of the auto mode then we have given again a 45 degree but we're not literally going to put again a 45 degree so first we're going to subtract we all know that this is a 180 degree and we need a 45 degree so we're going to subtract 180 minus 45 is equals to 135 so we're going to put the 
coordinates which is 1.5 then tab then 135 enter and now we can get the line so next is another straight line so activate the ortho mode then put the coordinate which is 1 and now we have a straight line so next is another slant that need an angle so we're going to turn off again the ortho mode then put the coordinates which is 2.3 so in this situation we already know that 60 degrees is right here so we're going to simply put a 60 degrees then enter then then now it's almost finished but it is not we're going now to connect it to the end point of the base then if we connect it already press enter then that's it but wait it is not finished yet we all know that there is some missing points in this figure it now we're going to add the dimensions of each line so how can we add certain dimensions how can we add some dimensions so we're going to add the dimensions right here here this linear creates linear dimensions so if you click here there are so many choices that we can that we can choose and each choices has had has had each corresponding line that we can put like this one the linear line so we're going to put some linear lines so simply click the two endpoints then now we have a 1.0 linear line okay then click then we're going to do the same in others linears Okay, that's all the linear line that we can put. The next is the angle lines. 1.5 rather this is the 1.6 1.6 okay the 1.4 That's all the angled line that we can. The next is how can we do to put some angle? So it is on the angular. So like this one, like the two lines right here, and now we can get the 150 degrees angle. Okay. Okay, so we have a 150 degrees also 
Kopieren. Okay, now next is we're going to add some text. Text, then multi line. And add here. Okay, yeah. I'm going to type a text. So let's just make it 0. Okay, let's finish our first figure in our AutoCAD. So, thank you guys for more videos. And if you like my videos, just click the subscribe button and the notification button as well. So, you'll get notified for my new videos. So, thank you. Peace out.